Rikishi sends a message after Jay Uso's WWE return, best and worst of Payback 2023, Becky Lynch to leave WWE Raw after Payback 2023, Triple H brings back popular tradition for WWE premium live events, WWE preparing to debut new championships on Raw, why did Seth Rollins get attacked after WWE Payback went off the air, why did Jay Uso move to WWE Raw, let's jump right into it. Best and Worst of Payback 2023 WWE Payback 2023 concluded with a major match card kicking off the weekend. From the crowning of new champions to ferocious battles, the premium live event did not cease to entertain. John Cena played the special host role perfectly, making it an impressive addition to his resume. Here is a list of the best and worst at WWE Payback 2023. Number 7. Best Becky Lynch and Trish Stratus kicked off the show with an impressive performance. The feud culminated inside a steel cage and the performance left fans awestruck. Lynch and Stratus were performing at the their best and delivered a great match to kick off the show. A Hall of Famer pulled up daring moves inside the steel cage. The man was at par and was not to be left behind with her emerging victorious. Things did not end well for Trish Stratus who was disappointed with the loss and took it out on Zoe Stark. The 29-year-old had enough of her mentor and proceeded to attack her post-match. Backstage, Becky Lynch was gearing up for an interview before she was interrupted by NXT Women's Champion Tiffany Stratton. This could lead to a feud between the two women. Number 6. Worse, Seth Rollins' title defense against Shinsuke Nakamura. The visionary put his World Heavyweight Championship on the line against Shinsuke Nakamura in the main event. Nakamura's former opponent and WWE Hall of Famer, the Great Muta, was in attendance for the show. The King of Strong Style did not waste any time in going after Rollins' back and continuing to injure it further. The champion put up a fight, however. The pace of the match seemed to die down in comparison to the street fight and steel cage matches prior. Additionally, the placement of the match just after the Women's Championship clash failed to engage fans as much as it was hyped. Number 5. Best, John Cena and L.A. Knight teasing a potential feud. One John Cena surprised the wrestling world on SmackDown when he announced himself as the host of Payback. At the start of the show, the Senation leader stated that he would be the special guest referee for the Mises bout against L.A. Knight. During the match, at one point, it looked as though Cena had put aside their rivalry when he seemingly muttered he was proud of the Miz. As the match progressed, Cena attempted to grab Knight off the A-lister for almost breaking the count. The 40-year-old was displeased with his decision, and the two had a stare down for a couple of minutes. Fans were frantic at this moment as a blockbuster match between two of the best talkers and WWE is in demand. Post-match, LA Knight's win made quite the impression on the Senation leader, who held up his hand in victory, displaying respect for the WWE star. However, tensions seemed to be there between the two stars, and an enticing match could be on the cards. Number 4. Worst, Raquel Rodriguez and Rhea Ripley's Women's World Championship match was lackluster. Rhea Ripley and Raquel Rodriguez had the classic friends turned rivals storyline into WWE. The two women came to blows when the Eradicator first injured Rodriguez, and then her tag team partner Liv Morgan. Dominic Mysterio even attempted to interfere and ended up on the receiving end of a vicious running power slam by Raquel Rodriguez. The Australian star retained her title by focusing on attacking her opponent's injured knee throughout the match. The WWE Women's World Championship match failed to engage fans as much as the previous feud. Despite the chemistry, it seems that both women failed to deliver what mattered most. Number 3. Best. The crowning of new undisputed WWE Tag Team Champion. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens have been at loggerheads with the Judgment Day for the past few months. Their battles on Rao led to the championship match at Payback. Last week, the Canadian stars announced that they were raising the stakes, making a Pittsburgh Steel City Street fight in tribute to the late WWE Hall of Famer Terry Funk. The bout saw all members going to extremes with the usage of kendo sticks, chairs, tables, and whatever they could get their hands on. Rhea Ripley even speared KO through the barricade at one point. Kiki McDonough added to the chaos by preventing Priest from getting pinned. The match concluded with the Judgment Day standing tall, with all members currently holding gold. Number 2. Worst, United States championship match failed to live up to the hype. Rey Mysterio went up against Austin Theory, putting his United States championship on the line. The match had to follow the hype of the women's steel cage match that kicked off the show. Initially, Theory and Mysterio kept up with the pace but lost track midway due to anticipated moves during the match. It seems the 26-year-old almost regained the title with a two-count. The two were feuding back and forth in previous weeks. Rey Mysterio retained his title and LDO came out to celebrate his win. It remains to be seen who the master of 619 will defend his title against next. Number 1. Best, Jey Uso's return and announcement regarding his WWE future. On the SmackDown after SummerSlam, Jey Uso announced he was done with the bloodline and the company. He has been absent from WWE television ever since. At Payback, Grayson Waller hosted his talk show with Cody Rhodes as a special guest. The two barely started the show when the American Nightmare stated that Jey Uso would, from now on, showcase his talents on Raw. The star then made his way out to the ring and was interrupted by Waller. This eventually led to Uso super kicking the star and walking away. What was your favorite moment from WWE Payback? Let us know in the comments section below.
Becky Lynch to leave WWE Raw after Payback 2023 Becky Lynch triumphed in her match at Payback 2023. The man defeated arch-rival Trish Stratus inside a steel cage at the September 2 Premium Live event. It seems Becky won't be seen on WWE Raw after the event. She could be sent to NXT to kick off her much-anticipated title program with Tiffany Stratton. The feud was first teased at NXT Heat Wave when Stratton called Becky Lynch a former NXT Women's Champion, a title Lynch hasn't won thus far. The star addressed her mistake during a backstage segment with McKenna. Kenzie Mitchell. She took the opportunity to throw a major shade at the former Raw Women's Champion, claiming she was better than her. Stratton was spotted in the crowd on the Raw before Payback 2023. The NXT Women's Champion observed the Falls Count Anywhere main event between Lynch and Zoe Stark. Lynch won the match after putting Stark through the table with the manhandle slam. The man put on a great opener with Trish Stratus at Payback 2023. Both women paid tribute to Lita and Victoria, who had the first women's steel cage match in WWE history. Lynch was asked to provide her comments on the match by Kathy Kelly during a backstage segment at WWE Payback. The segment was interrupted by Tiffany Stratton, who apologized to Lynch for her not winning the NXT Women's Championship during her career in developmental. However, the apparent condescending manner of her apology angered Lynch even more as she asked Stratton to focus on her match this coming Tuesday. It remains to be seen whether Lynch will make her way to the developmental brand and conquer the elusive NXT Women's title. What's your take on Lynch possibly heading to NXT? Let us know in the comments section below. Triple H brings back popular tradition for WWE Premium Live events. WWE Payback 2023 is now in the books. The show delivered some enticing bouts and offered hard-hitting action over the course of a little more than three hours. Stars such as Cody Rhodes, Becky Lynch, Rhea Ripley, Trish Stratus, Seth Rollins, Sami Zayn, and John Cena, among others, were all heavily showcased. The show was another get premium live event of the Triple H era. Interestingly, WWE and the game seemingly brought back an old tradition for the monumental card. That tradition is using legends and other stars in the audience to make specific matches and big shows feel even more special. Tiffany Stratton has been in the crowd for a second time in a week, with her first being on Raw. Both times, Tiffany was shown watching matches featuring Becky Lynch. Meanwhile, WWE Hall of Famer and Japanese wrestling icon The Great Muta was ringside for the main event between Seth Rollins and Shinsuke Nakamura. For those unaware, this was a commonly used trope by Triple H on NXT and NXT UK TakeOver shows. Legends or main roster stars would appear to support friends or add gravitas to a big time bout. Another way it was often used was to introduce a new or returning star. The likes of Oscar Matt Riddle and Drew McIntyre all were seen sitting at ringside prior to their NXT debuts or returns. As noted, NXT Women's Champion Tiffany Stratton was in the crowd during payback. She was watching the steel cage match between Becky Lynch and Trish Stratus that stole the show. That wasn't the end of the line for the NXT Women's Champion, however. When Becky was later being interviewed backstage, Tiffany surprisingly interrupted. She gave a condescending apology for accidentally referring to the man as a former NXT NXT Women's Champion. Notably, Becky never won that specific title. With NXT No Mercy set for September 30, it remains to be seen whether the two stars will battle it out at the show. WWE preparing to debut new championships on Raw. This weekend at WWE Payback, Finn Balor and Damian Priest were able to win the undisputed tag team titles by defeating Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. But the reality here is that there could be a huge change on the horizon. According to a report by Xero News, WWE has new championship belts and is waiting for the appropriate time to unveil and split the titles. It's unclear when this will happen, but clearly the company wants there to be tag team champions on both brands moving forward. The championships were unified by Usos last year, and the duo was able to hold them alongside Roman Reigns whilst he was the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, and the Bloodline held all the titles. Ahead of the Survivor Series, it would make sense for the Tag Team Championships to be sent back to SmackDown whilst the current champions remain on Raw. Now that new champions have been crowned, it will be interesting to see how the new titles are introduced onto Raw. The Judgment Day currently holds all championships and could be open to splitting the titles across brands once again. Do you think there should be Tag Team Champions on each brand? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Why did Seth Rollins get attacked? after WBD Payback went off the air. Seth Rollins successfully defended his World Heavyweight Championship against Shinsuke Nakamura at Payback 2023 after delivering a physical and intense match. The King of Strong Style targeted Rollins back multiple times during the match, but somehow, Rollins managed to secure a pinfall victory in this hard-fought bout. However, after losing the match, a frustrated Nakamura launched another brutal assault on the Visionary. This attack by Nakamura took place after the show went off the air. During this whole assault, the crowd chanted, We want 
Priest. But there was no immediate appearance from Damian Priest. However, this post-match assault could be setting up another match between Nakamura and Rollins in WWE. The decision to continue this rivalry may stem from Nakamura's strong representation and the crowd reaction during their feud. Nakamura's performance at Payback 2023 is also likely to impress WWE officials, which could later benefit the King of Strong style in the company. Moreover, if WWE do decide to book a rematch between Nakamura and Seth Rollins, Fastlane 2023 could indeed be an ideal location for their next encounter. It will be interesting to see how things will unfold in the upcoming edition of WWE Raw and what aftermath the company has in store for us after his intensified performance. The main event match between Seth Rollins and Shinsuke and Nakamura at Payback 2023 holds significance for both superstars, as it marked important achievements in their careers. For Shinsuke Nakamura, this match was a milestone as it was his first ever main event at a premium live event in WWE. This achievement reflected his status as a top-level competitor and indicated WWE's confidence in him as a headlining talent. For Seth Rollins, this match also held special significance as it marked the first time that the World Heavyweight Championship had headlined a premium live event. Despite holding the championship since Night of Champions 2023, Rollins had not previously main evented at PLE. With Roman Reigns the undisputed champion, absent from WWE television, Rollins had the opportunity to step into the main event spotlight. Moreover, the Tribal Chief is also likely to be absent in upcoming months and it looks like the World Heavyweight Championship will headline those shows. The continuation of the feud between Shinsuke, Nakamura, and Seth Rollins in the upcoming weeks will likely provide fans with a more compelling and interesting storyline to look forward to. Why did Jey Uso move to WWE Raw? Jey Uso is the latest superstar to join WWE Raw. The former Bloodline member made an unexpected appearance at Payback 2023 several weeks after quitting the company on SmackDown. Fans might wonder why Jey moved to the red brand. A possible reason behind Jey Uso's move to WWE Raw could be to keep him away from Jimmy Uso. The twins have been at odds with each other since Jimmy cost Jey his undisputed WWE Universal Championship match against Roman Reigns at SummerSlam 2023. Jey sought answers from his brother on a pre previous episode of SmackDown. Jimmy told Jay he didn't cost him the tribal combat out of jealousy. He just couldn't afford to see his brother become corrupted by the chiefdom. Jimmy betrayed Jay because he's jealous. I did what I did at SummerSlam not because of jealousy use. You really want to know? Man, I was afraid. All right, I was afraid to lose you. I would never be able to live use if I let you and watch you become an egotistical, lying, manipulative, a whole like Roman Reigns, Jimmy to Jay on SmackDown. Jimmy told John Cena this past Friday on SmackDown he'd do anything to protect his brother. The former undisputed WWE WWE Tag Team Champion also tried to take out the Senation leader with a super kick but was planted with an attitude adjustment instead. Grayson Waller had Cody Rhodes on his talk show The Grayson Waller Effect at Payback 2023. The arrogant Aussie tried to embarrass the American Nightmare. Cody used the opportunity to introduce Jay Uso as the newest member of the Raw roster. Rhodes left the ring to Jay and Waller and the former NXT star tried to downplay Jay's arrival but was laid out with a super kick. Cody Rhodes was watching all the action from the Ram and even got a nod from Jay Uso. It remains to be seen how Jay Jay's arrival on WWE Raw will affect the bloodline. What's your take on this story? Let us know in the comments section below. Rick Kishi sends a forward message after Jay Uso's WWE return. At Payback 2023, Jay Uso made a shocking return to WWE after quitting the company a few weeks ago. Following his return, Rick Kishi took to social media to share a forward message. Jay was betrayed by his brother Jimmy Uso at SummerSlam, who is currently on SmackDown. Amid the tension between the two brothers, rumors suggested that Rick Kishi could play a major role in their son's confrontation. In a previously deleted tweet, he hinted at being the special guest referee for a match between Jimmy and Jay at Payback. However, that wasn't the case to be. The WWE legend took to Instagram to post a photo of himself and sent out a forward message. Interestingly enough, he also mentioned the bloodline and the Usos in his caption despite not entirely addressing Jay's return to the company. Get up, stand up. This past Friday on SmackDown, Jimmy Uso's actions truly marked the end of the Usos. The former multi-time tag team champion walked out with a brand new theme music and confronted John Cena. This led to the 16-time world champion claiming that the wrong Uso quit the company, suggesting that it should have been Jimmy who should walked out of WWE instead of his brother. At SummerSlam, Jay came close to beating Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship in her trilogy bout. However, interference from Jimmy led to yet another loss for the former right-hand man. Jay is now expected to focus on new storylines on Raw as it remains to be seen what plans the company has in store for the 38-year-old going forward. Are you excited about Jay Uso's return to WWE? Never you need, sound off in the comment section below.
I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me 